Hello, my accomplices. Uh, today on the agenda, a little more of a philosophical road trip um, in the world of songwriting. So, when you are designing or structuring a song, when you first start writing it and planning for it, there are essentially two ways that you can go about it. But in order to understand the philosophy that I'm going to be talking about, I think I'm going to have to start talking about Greek mythology. Eh, yeah, I know, you didn't like it in English class, but I swear it's going to go somewhere. Ugh. Anyways, here's something I pulled from Wikipedia, because I don't know jack shit about Greek mythology. I don't know what you expected. This is a songwriting channel. We don't have intellectual integrity. So to summarize really quickly, Apollo and Dionysus are both children of Zeus that attempt to represent two polar opposite ideas. Wherein Apollo is a god of order, Dionysus is a god of chaos. Wherein Apollo is a god of beauty, Dionysus is a god of wine and getting shit-faced. <clears throat> now knowing that, it kind of inspires two lines of thought when it comes to songwriting. These are words that I've kind of taken from other creative communities, including the novelist community. So I'm going to use the terms plotting and pantsing. And let me explain what those are. So if you're like me and you wanted to write a book as a kid, when you got online, you discovered an entire community of people that aspired to be novelists. They had their own slang, their own language. It was its own deal, right? And you encountered a bit of interesting philosophy that would influence the rest of your writings, irregardless of whether they were in a novel or a music album. That idea being the difference between plotting and pantsing. Most people don't strictly go between plotting and pantsing. There's more or less a spectrum between designing every little sound and making every little line as perfect as it can be, and going in with no plan and just digging around on an instrument. When it comes to creative mindset, I am more of a pantser, which means that I don't go in with a plan. I mostly just have an idea that is anywhere between 15 to 45 seconds long. And I also just want you to know that I am literally pantsing this video right now. It is like 12 on Friday, and I'm doing the thing that Penguins does, but just for songwriting. At the end of a week, when I have a bunch of like smaller projects, I'll try and condense them down and put them together. This is why you'll find a lot of different sounds in my songs. They are actually just genuinely different sessions that have transitions between them. It's the reason why, while there is a sort of conventional songwriting structure that I have, like A, B, A, B, like A, C, A or something, most of the time it really just is a mess. It's different sessions on different days with different audio qualities and I really just put them together with whatever sounds right and whatever fits. Rarely do I ever have one session that actually pushes out a complete idea. I think there are a couple songs that were like that. For instance, Changes, Rapid Eye Movement, Pride. Well, those are like, those are like the creative peaks though. Those don't happen regularly. Most of the time, I'll think of a section idea. So maybe an idea for a verse or an idea for a chorus or an idea for a little bridge moment. And then I'll record those in their own little separate FL mobile sessions. And then if I have a song that's missing something, you know, I'll just, I'll port it over. I'll condense it down, make it an mp3 file, make it a wave file, and then open it with the audio file in the actual project that I'm working on. I've done this with, I think, four songs. Chaos was one of them, Meteors was one of them, Your Luck, I think, was also one of them, because I accidentally started singing, like, about 50 cents flat, and so I was like, what if we just change keys? What if we just go microtonal for a moment? It was a very interesting thing to try and redesign all of my MIDI presets to be like microtonal, to be like in 24 tet instead of 12 tet. So as you can see, I don't quite sit on one end of the spectrum. I'm not quite a Polynesian in my songwriting, neither am I Dionysian in my songwriting. It's more like controlled chaos as opposed to nice looking disorder, if that makes sense. And it's also interesting because most creatives don't sit on one side of the spectrum or the other. I think one of the greatest things that I did for my like songwriting creativity was putting away 
the organizational constraints that I had around songwriting in the first place. I don't have to have fully fledged songs. I can have little moments that happen and then I can just put them together when I'm done. I don't know how to explain it in any other way than I really do think that Bill Wirtz had the right idea. Like letting your smallest ideas go forward and then slowly working on your bigger ideas as perfect. Especially when you can take those smaller ideas and put them together. Because now, rather than having one big idea months and then one big idea and then another couple months, it's like, here's a bunch of smaller ideas that are happening like every other week, right? Like Monday trivia and stuff like that. So don't wait for a fully fledged song to fall out of your head. If you have a cool section idea, record it now. Save it now. It will be useful in the future. You can move it around and you can do whatever you want with it after you record that section. You do not need a fully fledged song whenever you're recording a song. You can just have ideas that lay around and simmer on the back burner. But that is the most important thing, is that you need to be recording now. Like, now. Like, go. Go make a song. Go do it. And I will see you next Tuesday. Yeah. every little sound and organizing every little note and I also <laughs> and I also just make music you know